Most people know that STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. But what not everyone knows is that STEM education is truly an integration of those four areas around a project or a problem to solve. When students are using scientific background knowledge, some sort of technological tools, math skills, and they have an engineering problem to work on, and they do so in a, in a team effort, that's really what we're talking about when we, we say STEM education. Why do you think that has been Today in the STEM lab, I was working with third graders, and we were exploring the concepts of potential and kinetic energy through building models of roller coasters. Students are more excited to learn about their world around them. I think that by giving them these STEM-focused activities, it shows them how learning is really real-world applicable and how it is authentic. They're so engaged and they're so motivated that I think it makes learning more exciting for them. And so that STEM focus is really impacting their, their learning. STEM education has to be defined by the STEM industries in a particular community. What we've tried to do is connect educators with STEM industry individuals or companies and help them work together to create a STEM learning environment in the classroom that resembles or replicates the STEM industry world. We provided an education grant to Springfield Public Schools to do energy and water education. People need to know where that those resources come from, especially kids from a young age know where it comes from. Uh, they're going to protect those resources that are out there. Plus, we're going to need people with that kind of background in the future. So very important to us that kids stay involved in science, engineering, really great stuff that uh, we see our program supporting. The Springfield approach to STEM education is definitely a community effort. I think you have to recognize that we have tremendous expertise in this county and this state and this nation. And so I think building up from the ground level and letting people share their good ideas and build on that is really important. The Oregon STEM Hub Network is, is a new initiative at the state level. The Hub would ideally fund more opportunities for quality professional development for our teachers and administrators. and that would trickle down to more interesting, more challenging, uh, more investigative uh, opportunities for our kids. The Content in Context Super Lessons is a uh, partnership between the university and the school district and a number of other school districts across Lane County. Uh, and we are specifically interested in interdisciplinary uh, STEM teaching and supporting project-based learning through this project. The Polar Challenge is one of the Content in Context um, grant funded projects. The Polar Challenge is um, the culminating event to our STEM engineering project where students designed um, soles to attach to the bottom of their shoes that would give them traction on ice based on animal foot adaptations. Today we're actually working on what we like to call biomimic. When we pull these together, it's going to form like a little cup. I like to experiment with different things. The teachers who designed the Polar Challenge participated in two years of professional development around project-based learning. They were able to go on field studies to our community partners, industries, um, learn what the STEM industry is really like in the real world and then develop a project within their classroom that helps students see the connections to the real world. Um, and it also, at the same time, supports the standards that students are required to learn in science and math. We also have a STEAM-related project this year. The idea of our core came from a, a need to address this real shortcoming of arts education in our schools. And so multiple districts participated to um, really find a way to introduce arts and creativity and inquiry through other means and, uh, and not necessarily keep learning so segmented from subject area to subject area. We have a lot of, of STEM activities going on, but it's not coordinated. We're part of um, the FTC robotics program. This is our robot. Uh, we named it HAL, HAL 9000. We have a hub 
and we are somewhat operational, but we don't have any staff that are dedicated to creating the backbone of the hub. And we'd really like to secure funding to help solidify our hub in Lane County.